What's up guys? So I got a quick video for you today just to let you guys know that the update is going to be delayed. So uh, I'll just sort of explain why and what it is. It is going to be Invention. We, uh, I know some people have been speculating it is Invention. I know I mentioned it was coming, so I mean it shouldn't be that much of a surprise to people. But uh, we was able to get, Dark was able to get his part finished on Wednesday. And uh, I was hoping to be able to get the update out today, on Friday on time, but it just isn't going to happen. Uh, a lot of the hardest parts have been done, um, like sort of making those schematics and everything and i'll show you a little bit just so you guys you know you get something from this video and it's not uh all sad pandas but we just wanted to make sure invention gets the proper time to take care of it in situations like this where we have a bigger piece of content coming then uh you know we might have to make some changes uh you know usually like usually what we would try to do is half code things so have portion of it coded and then release you know release this update as scheduled like we normally would uh, the reason why i'm not going to be able to do that this time is because again it, it happened so late in the week that if i was to postpone invention for one whole week and just release the update today it would be like three things uh and uh, no one would be very uh, impressed either way so it's kind of like it's would you would, should we do an update today just to do it and, and stick with consistency or just be realistic and understand that it needs to be delayed and delay it a, a day or two i, I mean I'm, I'm talking a very short amount of time i know in my past we've we've had delays that have been that have ended up years so that's you know it's not good but again i'll show you what we have and uh, what, what what basically needs to be finished so uh, everything you see in this video is not 100% confirmed or finished. There's uh, possible tweaks that might be changed in the next 24 hours or so. So just keep that in mind, uh, especially any uh, experience rates or amount of things or whatever. Um, so you can see we disassembled the... Why did I get that much experience? Uh, anyways, I, I've been messing around with the experience rate, so I, I, I don't think I've updated. I think that's why it was that amount. Anyway, so you do get experience now from... Well, I think you always got experience, but it was just um, smaller amounts. I think it was a base amount for um, the thing. So now how it works is, like, let's spawn some uh, rune plate bodies. So we're not going to get a lot of experience, really, if any, here. We can see we got 1,000 for that one, 900 for that one. You can see it is kind of based on a formula that does account for how many components you get. Uh, the rapier we were just assembling is a guaranteed amount. That's why it's, uh, you know, that's why it was that much experience. But then some random things like this will have different amounts. So if we do like uh, F item 30 H plate, we spawn 10, 3, 4, 6, 2. Spawn some plate legs. We got 126k experience. And remember, this is the initiate mode, so it would be less experience if you're on a lower mode. So. Yeah, it should be nicer. It should be a lot smoother. Like, if you're actually disassembling a bigger item, you'll get more out of it. So that's kind of nice. Obviously, you're not supposed to train all the way to 99 this way, but I'm sure some people will do that. People people like to do stuff like that. So then you're probably wondering, well, you just assembled a bunch of stuff. Where are your components? Well, I've already showed this before, so I guess you're probably not wondering, huh? Uh, components are now a, you know, a, uh, what's the word? a uh, non-physical item like it's not an item that you have that you mess around with and use on each other it's now like stored in your profile so uh, i was going to say virtual item or digital item but it's all virtual all digital so that wouldn't really make any sense even though you might get the point i was trying to make so it should be a lot nicer you don't have to mess around with uh, a bunch of components you don't have to have them in your bank you don't have to you know uh mess around with anything like that nice interface you can see them all you can also just type colon colon comp uh, to, to look at that same screen or you can just look at your component bag if you whichever people prefer some people like commands some people like items you do you uh, so as far as how it all works it's kind of similar to uh, oh I didn't change the I didn't change the coordinates <laughs> all right uh, what's that so here we have uh, old X workshop is pretty similar you have him with the schematics now you're gonna notice that there are less schematics than what was originally released on revival uh, one there are gonna be some uh, some things coming out later some of the bigger stuff like augmented weapons and the uh, ring of fortune luck of the pugs those those two you know items specifically are gonna come in the next batch uh, the main goal for this update was to get the scale functional working and to give you guys uh, sort of like you know I, I wanted there to be items for you to create good ones too and I'll, I'll sort of go over what they I'll just go over them because fuck it right why not so we have Sierra's brew which is the very first thing you can make the similar logic to the garden pie um, so if we create if we hit create this is how the interface looks so before you had to kind of use the right item on the right item some schematics were like this where they were coded 
code it where you could create, but uh, now all of them are going to be that way, so it should be a lot smoother. Uh, and you could also make 100 at a time. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what the sweet spot number is, because obviously, like, eh. I, I, originally I was going to go 1,000, but that might be too overpowered to just be able to make 1,000 of, of something like this instantly. I suppose it's really not that much time to just do 1,000 anyways, but again, I'm trying to tweak the numbers and figure it out, but... Um, let me uh, spawn some, I guess let me just spawn some 19, 18, 100. And then we, uh, boom. I don't have organic pumps. Okay, now we should have some comps. So I'm gonna create 100 and boom, 1 million experience. I, again, don't worry too much about the XP rates. They might be tweaked, they might stay the same. I'm still fine tuning everything and making it all balanced and whatnot. But uh, bam, there we go, 100 Sierra Brews, and uh, you can make them instantly. So if you have a, a bunch of beers and shit, they're, you're good to go. Uh, there are some things in here, like I did give you, yeah, I hooked you up with some. I'll, I'll up the quantity, because I know somebody will just buy out the stock immediately, and then you guys are all shit out of luck. But um, some of the things are in there, and then some of the things you'll probably have to go collect yourself, and you'll kind of see what they see. You know, you'll, you'll, you'll know what they are when they make sense. So the next thing that is coded is the pirates transmute so this is the thing i was talking about for the cash casket so if we spawn 405 100 caskets ca cash <laughs> caskets so these were recently uh nerfed in an update uh they they used to give uh anywhere from 125k to 250k cash now it's 75k to 150k um, but if you have a hundred of these and some components, you can now use the Pirates Transmute and it will create a large cash bag for you. Uh, so this is basically the exact same rates as before. It's the chance of uh, 1 in 25 or 250. Obviously it's scaled up to 100 because it's 100 times your casket. So when we open one, you should get about 18 mil. Yeah, I think it's, uh, what, is it? what would it be? It would be 12, 12 5, two, uh, two, uh, 25, right? Yeah, that sounds right. Boom. So... Yeah, right there would be about a nice chance, chunk, chunk of gas. So if you did stockpile them or you, you're just too lazy to open them, you can get the most money out of this way. So this is definitely the way to do it. And it isn't too many components. I am realizing now that there's no way to actually see the amount of components it is. I'll, I'll likely just add that to the exam option. Uh, some of the things are going to have like create options, but when, when it's only one option, it's not going to have that option. But I, I definitely need to make it a little cleaner and more understanding that like, hey, this is this is what you need. So there's still a lot of other things that aren't completely coded, and there's aspects that are coded. For example, the thing that I am wearing, not the amulet, with the 30 amulet, no, don't, don't worry about that. Uh, but if we go to old deck again, we have, so we're going to have Magic Oyster. Yes, it is returning. It is going to be roughly the same as it was on Revival 1. Uh, it will now be an item you create, but, you know it still will exist and it should, it should still be a lot of fun it will save you a lot of time if you're one of those people that uh stockpiles glues so then we have the old x lube uh i'm not gonna go into that no no nothing no upgrades or <laughs> no uh no uh spoilers or uh, i don't know what the hell word i was trying to say i saw the word upgrade and it just it replaced whatever word was in my brain that is no longer is now gone uh mystery box upgrade this is pretty simple just take five mystery boxes upgrade them into an elite um, this is very, very, very specific to like, I mean, this isn't one you're going to use a lot of, but it's just like, hey, why not, right? It's just a thing you can do. Kind of similar to the Pirate's Transmute. It's not something you're supposed to just like farm for XP or anything like that. It's just a nice perk you get. Uh, so there's that. Uh, Corrupt Redwood Logs. Again, the nice uh, nice Redwood Shortbow is coming back, but it'll be a little bit different this time. Uh, a little more invention related. Uh, this is also a good way to... Uh, Fletch, so this will be a nice improvement to fletching. Because fletching is one of those things that we could probably make better. And then we have barrels transmute, very similar to how it was in Revival One, just a way to take one barrels item and transform it into another. Maybe good, maybe bad, but you know, can. And then the big daddy that will be out in the first batch is the imbued eye, which will be basically the same. It will function. <laughs> It'll function worse than Revival 1, just because Revival 1 was more broken and overpowered. And out here, it's going to be a little more balanced. It will have the timer, like the uh, the imbued heart. So uh, it will be a little more balanced, but, you know, it will basically be infinite uh, range bonus. 
so that's going to do it there like i said we're going to have a ton of additional stuff a ton of new things that were coming out with invention stuff you didn't see in revival one i just wanted to get this out as soon as possible uh like i said it, it you know, we, we basically got this together uh, in three or four days and hope, however long it takes from this video and when it's actually out. But in the future, whenever doing, so, like, let's say God Wars 2, for example, God Wars 2 will be a pretty big update. It'll likely happen in batches. Like, you won't even know it's coming out. Like, one update, it'll just be like, oh, here's a, a couple things were added for God Wars 2. A couple things were added for God Wars 2. A couple things were added for God Wars 2. And then eventually, you know, you'll have one week where God Wars 2 is like you know 90 percent done and we can finish we can finish wrapping it up that week um you know it's gonna be a learning curve uh, again we're still trying to figure out the source as well that's a big part of it a lot of a lot of what we've been doing today it's like i've just been learning and figuring it out um creating the schematic from scratch and then once we created it and again i have the schematics created now so once we can create it we could just duplicate it for all the others you know all the other things and then make them all function make them all work correctly uh double check everything double check all the rates and then we're gonna be good to go um I, again i apologize for the fact that you know this is gonna be our first friday without the official update but it's just invention was was gonna be like that we kind of expected invention to be a sort of bigger than than what the updates we've had in the past is. And a good thing about this is we can finally sort of move forward now. Now with Invention being released soon, we can start getting advertisements. So we can start moving towards like phase two of the roadmap plan. Um, like for example, like for, at least for me and my and what I would do, Zolcano and Gauntlet. And then I, I spoke with Dark earlier about the high scores. That's the next thing on his to-do list. So we got a lot of stuff coming. I will do the actual giveaway. Uh, I did a giveaway in a previous video. I will do the results for that in the actual update video, not this video. So if you're trying to win that you know stay tuned thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you very soon with this update